like I'm back in the Philippines because it's dirt road. Thank you again. Surprise. This is my home away from home, away from home. Looks like they're doing some construction here. I don't know what the heck they're doing. Building another dock, maybe. camera that camera right there there's a uh, the website you can go to and you can actually watch the uh, watch the uh, the lake live somebody left her coat here Watch your step, don't trip. It's like I'm boarding a plane just on the water. Everybody's waiting for everybody. Losing my voice today. That's like the bilge pump, pumping out the water, bottom of the boat. Always wanted to go on that. Actually, I think that. That one is one of the original boats. That one. I've never seen this one before. Never seen that one. And the sailboat has been here for years and years. He's posing, look at that. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he is posing. That's awesome. Throwing his wings. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, what a photo shoot. Wow. Oh, look at him. What's up, buddy? Still going strong. Yeah. <laughs> Paddling right along. Yeah. Okay.
Okay, everybody, I'm gonna walk the rocks. Walk the rocks and hopefully, hopefully I don't fall. That'd be a big, oh no. Caution, uneven services, children under 12 must be accompanied by an adult. Do not throw objects from pier. Okay, let's see how I do. It's a pretty little walk. Look at the leaves on the trees. I don't know if you can see it or not. They're all changing. The leaves are all changing. So I figured I'd come out here just for one more day. Or come out here one more day. Just to come out here before the weather really gets cold out. I'm surprised people haven't packed their boats up yet. Maybe they will uh, next weekend. <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful out today. I will take it for October. So when do you guys think I should come back to the Philippines? That's been on my mind for... God, every stinking day. I've been thinking about coming back to visit my wife, visiting my friends and my family. I uh, I miss everybody right now. It's very hard, you know, just sitting at home and dwelling on what could be. I wish I could just hop on a plane and just go out there and live and be with my wife <clears throat> so but time will tell time will tell things will eventually uh, happen for a reason in God's time in God's time I know uh, it's, it's been hard it's been hard on my wife myself just watching the time pass by super hard Does everybody like the view? If you can, I would say come on out. Come on out to Watkins Glen, New York. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. I would choose probably the spring and summertime, maybe the fall time, like right now. Uh, but the winter time, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll come back here in the winter time. It's absolutely beautiful here. So, when I was a kid, I used to live up there. My parents owned a place on the lake and we'd come up every weekend to the lake. Then no matter what kind of weather it was, we'd be coming up here in the fall, spring, winter, summer. And we just hang out, spend time here, get away from the hustle and bustle of school and work. <clears throat> and my dad absolutely loved fishing, and I loved fishing, and that's how I learned how to fish. Just absolutely amazing. And at the time, nine, ten years old, I didn't care much about it at the time. I wanted to stay home and hang out with my friends. But then I realized when I got older, how precious that time was, and the memories. I'm wearing my ring today, my good one. Hope I don't lose it, because it's still a little loose on me. <clears throat> but yeah, those are, uh, this place right here is home to me. And I'm hoping someday I'll have enough money to, I really want to buy my old place back that my parents owned, you know, they sold it. And I was going through college at the time, 2001, something like that. 2001, they sold a cottage and I was working part-time and 
going to college full time and I was never up here. <clears throat> so they sold it. And now I absolutely miss it. Absolutely miss it. And before my dad died, I told him, hey, I'd like to, uh, my ultimate goal is to bring jewels out here and uh, have a family and um, buy the cottage back, the same exact one that we had before. Yeah, so in other news, I, uh, I keep looking at tickets every stinking day. Every day. Right through uh, Philippine Airlines. Prices seem like they're just going up and up and up. Like, come on. Give me like a Christmas deal or something, you know? Uh, well, what can you do? You can't win them all. So just... Keep praying to the good Lord that I can get back out there as soon as possible because I will make my way out there. Just keep continuing to do these videos, make everybody happy, and uh, I'm going to do a lot of traveling. I'm, I, I want to get out, I want to go places, do things while I'm still here in the States. i got a couple of places in mind right now I've been mapping out, uh, so I think it'd be fun. I don't know if uh, <clears throat> maybe in the comments section you guys could tell me a couple places in the states that you would like me to visit. Um, I'm going to try to make my way out to California. That's one of the stops. Uh, California is one of my big ones. Go see a couple places out there. So a couple questions uh, I would like to address on this specific video right now. Why the Philippines? Why the Philippines? Why did you go to the Philippines? Why uh, did you look for a wife out in the Philippines? Well, you know, in all honest truth, I was done with women here. I've got burnt so many stinking times. I'm not going to go into full detail, but I've been burned so many times throughout uh, since growing up, you know, having a girlfriend here, having a girlfriend there. And, you know, it doesn't go for all women here in the States. It's just the fact that things didn't work out. Um, I was looking for something much more, much more different. You know, somebody more hmm, traditional? I don't know. Somebody that's level-headed, traditional, doesn't ask for, doesn't ask for much. Um, I don't mind helping, you know, uh, but, you know, I hate going back to my past, but a lot of, uh, some of my exes, uh, used to ask for things and, I really don't appreciate that. You know, jewelry, flowers, money. Yeah, I want to be nice and I'll do it, you know, when I can afford it. You know, at the time. But they get mad at me. My God, I got... I don't know. I don't want to go into specifics on who it was. But, you know, I, I knew I wasn't compatible I knew I wasn't compatible with people here, and there's something, something going on in my brain. So, <clears throat> so the older I got, the more wise I got. And I told myself, you know, I got in my late, my late thirties. I'm like, there's got to be something else. What's going on here? It's got to be, it's got to be somebody else. So I did my research. And uh, I wanted to see what different cultures were all about. And the one that stuck out to me the most was the Philippines. Uh, 
Catholic, family-oriented, loving, caring, nurturing. And uh, I'm like, yeah, right. I'm like, in today's world? No. Now, I'm not saying all, you know, Filipinos are perfect by any means. Nobody's perfect. Not even myself. I got errors. You know, I got issues. But what I really wanted in life is in the Philippines. And I, I knew it. I just knew it. Get a nice background view. What the heck is that? An egg? And, you know, I didn't... It didn't take me a day. You know, I it, I did a lot of research, studying, and watching videos, and watching other vlogs, and seeing what other people, you know, Americans or Australians or whoever, you know, what they were searching for in the Philippines and what they found. And I mean, I, I talked to a couple and they were super good hearted. You know, I started talking online and it just, you know, it's, we weren't compatible to me. Uh, I did meet one that was asking for money. Uh, that only lasted for two days, maybe less. And uh, I felt bad. I couldn't help and I wasn't just gonna give somebody money that I knew for two days less than two days I wish I could but I wasn't at the time able to I wasn't going to I didn't know if it was a scam or not <laughs> scam can't talk today so I uh Ended up finding my wife, well, at the time, girlfriend Julie. We started talking, and we were friends. We are probably just, uh, we're talking steadily for about three months until we started. She asked me if she wanted to start dating. She asked me. Or was it me? No, it was me. I think we. I asked her if she wanted to start dating. <clears throat> she said, yeah. So we were friends. I didn't hop into a relationship boom the first day it's Julie and I were just friends we were just talking and that was it and I would not suggest to anybody that you start talking to a Filipina online and then the third day you say I love you or hey we should go out <sighs> let me tell you something you do not want to do that you want to you want to buckle down and watch some of my videos or somebody else's videos because the struggle is real. You think you can just hop on a plane and spend all your time with your Filipino girlfriend, you got another thing coming. If you don't have a place or, you know, a good job or whatever, whew, good luck to you. Good luck to you. <clears throat> At first I thought it was going to be easy. It's definitely not. Definitely not. Lots of struggles. So yeah, the struggle is real. Don't think it's all easy peasy by any means. I give a lot of credit to these guys that are with their Filipina girlfriends or wives right now that could actually make it. Uh, uh, I'm not going to drop channels or anything like that, but some of the people that have channels vlogging, you know, in the Philippines, and I give them so much credit for what they what they're doing. It's, it's it's amazing. Me personally, you know, I'm I'm going through some different struggles, <laughs> different struggles right now. So midlife crisis. Uh, what can you do? But you know, I I got faith in God, and God's gonna definitely take care of us. You know, myself and Julie and family. I think we'll be okay. We'll be well off. I grew up right down there, about 15 minutes away. This lake is like, I want to say like 37 miles long. 37 miles long. Long lake. But yeah, I learned how to fish on the lake. 
you know, I'm trolling and dad had a little aluminum boat and we just fish you know for a few hours sometimes half a day it depended dad liked the rough water and I liked the calm water for fishing I think the rough water made me a little seasick <clears throat> but I try to come out here and visit as much as I can lately with work it's very hard and then you know it's on the weekends when I was working I was like Ugh, I have no time I'm so tired that yeah, sailboat that's beautiful absolutely beautiful somebody's got some money Yeah, it's so mind-blowing to see things change so fast. All the stuff here, I think this building used to be here back in the 90s and early 80s, and that place was never there. This place, never here. That place, you can look up online, that used to be Captain, Captain Bill's. They tore that down a couple years ago and replaced it with whatever that is. There used to be a, so it used to be Captain Bill's and then there used to be a mini golf course, or mini golf, <laughs> used to play mini golf here uh, as a kid. So much fun. You now they just redone the whole thing. It's kind of crazy. gonna need hearing aids in a couple months probably anyways the cabins of castles place i remember as a kid back in the 90s mid 90s uh i remember we walked right right by the place there or looking in the window at the pictures trying to find a place to live 
kid you not, I don't think that place has changed much. And then I think one of these two places right here, one of those two places, um, I used to go in there as a kid. Uh, there was like a bunch of little everything in those in the store. They had like a lot of antiques, knives, pocket knives, all that. Yeah, bought myself a little knife. Back then it didn't matter too much. Yeah, just little little memories I remember. A little nostalgia. A little nostalgia. Good stuff. Good old Watkins Glen. was a quick trip down to uh, memory lane right there. Of course, there's a blue sky coming out right now. Good stuff. Well, that's cool. Got, like fires going. Cool. Look both ways for the train. Seneca Harbor Park. Of course the sun wants to come out now. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> 